and welcome back to my channel. Hey, I'm Ellen, if you're new here. Kind of feel like I should have done the intro for this vlog at home. Hope you can hear me. If not, I'll do a voiceover or do it when I get home. But we are going charity shop shopping today, woohoo! And I have decided, one of my tips for charity shop shopping is come to affluent areas because it's where you find the best stuff for the, not always the best prices, but it's always good for like, kind of like a designer hunt or like really high quality um, items or just stylish pieces in general. So saying that, we have come to Marlebone High Street to thrift today. So I'm gonna be taking you around the charity shops, showing you what like they have, and if I get anything, I'll show you and do a little haul when I get home. So I will, in two seconds from now, be at the charity shop, so you'll just see that bit next. <laughs> I went all the way up. I thought you meant he was out of town. No. I, well, I don't know, if there, is there any sort of studios around here? He could have been filming something and staying with somebody or something. It could have been his London. I'm talking about the time I saw Jeremy Kyle around here. Um, yeah, so I am now, uh, blah, 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 start again. I just wanted to hop on here and say that this is actually just one of my favourite areas of London to just come and visit. So if you're kind of in the Oxford Street area, I would highly recommend just hopping over to Marlebone High Street. Just going for a walk down it, going for a drink, going for lunch. There's so many, like, it's just such a cute, quiet, very like residential vibey, but like, you know, the super rich elite residential vibey area of London. It's just gorgeous. Ready, we've got a Fiorucci dress in the window, some Harrods shoes, cute bags, cute bags. I'm mentioned in this book. <laughs> I just told the vlog. We have a little Fiorucci t-shirt. I think it's, yeah. I don't know if it's real though, but it is 20 quid. I wanted to look at was this. Oh, of course I like it, it's from Sony. That is stunning. Okay, I am a little bit obsessed with this Marge jacket in my size. Gold buckling, like leather trims. Oh my God, it's so nice. The lovely Newman stuff. Yeah. But even these books are so cute. Yeah. Do they have are they pictured or are they just written? So cute. Okay, next shop, Mama. Yeah. I know. Okay. So we bought the Coates Mulberry, that's why. The dress is Ganny, it's one of my favourite brands. Um it's so pretty. What's that? Oh, it's an extra small. Let's go in, let's go in and see if they've got more Ganny. Um, so we're now going into Cancer Research, which looks like it's like a designer one, so yay. Small. Mum always goes straight to the card section. <coughs> this Mew Mew. Yeah. So we have stopped in Le Comptoir Lebanese. Sorry if I butchered that um, for lunch. Marlebone High Street only has two charity shops now, which is news to me. Maybe Mum said maybe a lot of them didn't survive the pandemic. It used to be absolutely full of charity shops. But I got one thing and I'm still kind of swooning over that coat a little bit. But I just don't know if I need to spend 90 quid on a coat. I don't need a coat. It's very nice, but I don't need it. But uh, we've got halloumi and aubergine wraps coming. And I'm very excited. And uh, is this good? Pomegran pomegranate and orange blossom lemonade. Mm, that is really good. No, it tastes lovely. Does that mean anything? Yummy? Good? Come over. Oh my god. Just gonna come over. I don't wanna I'm too scared. No, no, they're fine. You just come over and say hello. Absolutely we'll just come and say hello. Hello. Hello little guy. Oh god no, I don't like no, it. It's okay, they don't hurt you, Ellen. We just want to see if you've got any um food. Have we got anything? No. He's gone. He's gonna come back again. 
So we are just walking through Hyde Park to go to the V&A and it's been a glorious walk. It's actually, we've bought like the kind of the back end of Hyde Park, like not the uh, Oxford Circus end, like the other side, like Bond Street end, like the, the other, total other side. And it's just been the loveliest walk. Feels really like quiet, really countryside-y. Um, it sprinkled of rain a little, the geese. A friendly squirrel came to say hi and it was just, a lovely walk. So now this vlog is turning into half thrifting, half come to the V&A with me. So let's head off. There's a Not so. Um... So we have made it to the V&A and we've got coffee in the courtyard. This I was like. Every time I walk into this courtyard, I'm like, this is my happy place. Yeah, I mean. I love it yeah. here. Like, why is it so, it's just like, glamorous, chill, romantic. It's way better like during the week, obviously. It's actually yeah. not that busy right now though. No, it's you don't have to book bad. to come to the V&A anymore, which is really nice. Um, you make me look so pale. Your full Spanish jeans. get them what resold so i've just had an outfit change and now i've put back on my cardigan and my trainers Can you see that trainers on <laughs> with my dress because it seems silly to get changed again should we go in here um because i did a few pictures in the vna which were very nice and I've put like comfies, like a hoodie and leggings on because who's messaging me? I'm feeling really tired. Um, it was a long day and um, I picked up a dress in the charity shop that I'm gonna show you on tomorrow because I've just washed it and I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. Um, but it was the one I tried on in the clip but I'm going to show you how like I styled it and then I also picked up e well my mum actually bought these for me very kindly um these amazing I've just run up and down the stairs I'm really out of breath <laughs> um these amazing earrings from the V&A as well they're part of the Fabergé England Fabergé in London or something exhibition um but they are amazing and they were only eight pounds as well they're like just these like big gold hoops with like these fake pearls all over and I think they're gonna be really fun with the outfit I'm gonna wear tomorrow so I've yeah just watched wash that dress I'm gonna stick it on the radiator um it's hanging at the moment I'm gonna stick it on the radiator so it's dry by tomorrow and wear it I think with like really dark tights my Dr. Martins and a leather jacket badass